Hey guys, so I'm back with a hair tutorial. Um, like I told you guys um, before, I was going to start doing more hair tutorials. So, uh, I already washed my hair. As I told you before, if you look at um, my hair routines or whatnot, um, I use Garnet Fructis um, shampoo and conditioner. So, right after I get out of the shower, especially while my hair is still damp, um, I'm going to be putting in a leave-in conditioner and what I'm using here is Garnier Fructis leave-in conditioner cream. Alright. So all you're going to want to do, also have a brush handy. I like to brush my hair out real quick. And split it down the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect because all we're going to do is put the leave in conditioner. But first, brush it out. Okay. So, um, everyone has their different type of hair, so you guys might use a different size. Right now, I'm using that for one side. So, you just rub it into your hands and just pass it through. Um, I say to brush your hair before you put this on because it makes it a lot easier just to run your fingers through. Okay. And once you do that, you can grab the brush again and just brush it through. All right, now you're gonna take, again, some more. Again, this is the size. And rub it in and just stroke it through your hair. Make sure you get your roots. Okay, and then take your brush again. Alright, after I do this, I like to put it in a little bun for a little bit. And I'll probably keep it in a bun so that the leave-in conditioner can soak in for about 15 minutes. And then I would let it down for another 15 minutes so it's more dry, like it dries. Um, and after that, then we will start with the hair tutorial of, you know, what sections I do, how do I do it. So I will see you guys in 10 minutes, and then I'll be right back to show you guys the next step. All right, guys, so now after this, what I do is I'm going to use a heat protectant for my hair. So I'm using Tresemme, the heat tamer spray. Really cheap and works wonders. So what I'm going to do is I'll just spray it to each side of my hair. And then I'm going to let it soak in just like I did with the other products. Alright. And all I do is brush it through as well. And you really want to make sure you get your tips. Okay, now you're going to do the second side. And what I'm doing is I am separating parts of my hair, like just small parts, so that I can get the spray in very well. And you keep continuing with the parts. Okay. And you just continue. Okay, your tips again. And then my little bang. And then I'm just gonna brush it. Alright, and I'm gonna leave this in for five minutes, so I'll check in with you guys right after I'm done with that. Alright guys, so the next part, um, we already have this straight, so we're going to put it to one side. 
You can even clip it together so that it does not mix with anything else. So now you have the rest of it. You can start from your temples and just move all the way back. And then you're just going to separate it. Okay. So once you separate it, you take the top again. And I have a little bun on top. Take care of your engine. All right. So now we have to separate this. So we split it. Um, I hope you guys can see this. We split it. Split it down the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect. So you have your two things in two separate sides. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the straight hair back. And I'm going to clip it again, but while it's back. Right. And now what you can do with this side, grab a scrunchie. Um, and I'm sorry if the first part of the video is a little shaky. I was using my camera. To do um, my recordings because I finally fixed it and it has HD quality but the thing for some odd reason it's been sh it's like the videos came out shaky for the first ones I was doing so the first part until this part it's probably gonna be shaky this one should not be shaky at all I am using the camera on my computer um, but yeah so we have this side so you're gonna brush it out and the steam that's coming off, the, it is not like you're burning your hair, because I'm not burning my hair right now. This is a completely ceramic, so it's not burning your hair. My hair is a bit damp, like, it's not, like, dry completely, but that's the only reason why you see steam coming up, but it's not burning your hair, just because I'm, I have a feeling someone's going to say, aren't you burning your hair? No, I'm not. Alright, um, I'm going to separate this again into two parts. <laughs> Once I separate it, I'm going to twirl it again. And this time, since I am using the clip on the back, I have another clip. Uh, clip. Good. Alright, so now you just want to take a separated part again. Here, the comb, and the flat iron. See, that right there is just because my hair is wet, but that's the seam coming off of it. And that. And you might have to pass it a few times. And you do this just to try to get as close as you can to the roots. Now you can take your next part. Sorry if I keep touching the um from the computer. It's just that it keeps going away while I'm recording. I just need to make sure I'm doing it right so that you guys are able to see this. Um, I'm closer for you guys and kind of turn this way. Okay, so you got your next piece.
Okay. And you just continue to do the same thing. So I have this side done, as you can see. Just gonna grab it together and pass it. All right. So now I'm gonna do the next side and the rest of this side, and I will see you when we get to the top. All right. guys so um, I have my bottoms done and like I was showing you it's extremely straight you guys see me with my curly hair and look how long it is it is extremely long hold on I put it in front of the blue it's very long and this is not even or oh, this is the longest piece put together the longest piece my hair is in layers, remember that too. And these are part of my bangs, that's why they're kind of sticking out. But yeah, now we're gonna move up to the top. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take all the straightened hair, all of it. Take the clip, the little claw. And just pinch your hair together like this. All right. So now I'm gonna put this down. The way I do my top, um, the top of my head is I separate it on the way I like you know split my hair or whatever. So, top. I do put my bangs going this way. Yeah, my bangs go this way. So everything kind of from this side over. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm separating it so it's separated this is how I want my hair I always flip my hair one way and this is usually the way it is so I usually do the side at the end because one it does have a lot more hair but two it's also like the easiest side so can I just make interesting Hold on a 
second. No, you just need to brush this out. Um, I also have another one that I use, not only this one, the Tresemme Heat Tamer. Uh, yeah, it focuses pretty darn well. Alright, but I also use um, one that my mom uses a lot, and this is like my aunt, she's um, a cosmetologist, and she does hair and nails and everything. And she uses this one a lot, the Ion Heat Protection. And it has anti-frizz solutions, so that's pretty good for my hair. So I usually use this on the top part. I sometimes spray it on the bottom, but um, right now I've been using this one a lot because I like it a lot. But since this has the anti-frizz as well, I'm just going to spray it on top just a little bit because this one dried up a bit. And yes, that's a little bit to me because I have curly hair. And there we go. Okay. I'm really trying to keep this side away from this one, but it's coming a little too hard. Alright, so I'm going to separate it into parts again. So here's part one that we're going to be doing. Alright, so... I'm going to twist this and clip it. Split it. Take this, I usually just put it around this pin like this, and it stays. So I finished with this side of the hair as I just showed you. So now I just need this top part left. And then I'm going to be completely done. As if you notice, like, I straighten, when I say I straighten my hair, it comes out straight, like pin straight. Alright. So let's get started. Alright, hold on. I just want to show you guys. If you see the difference from how it is naturally 
is very thick and curly and how pin straight that is. The difference on how I straighten my hair and the way my hair is actually curly. Crazy curly. So yeah, you see poofiness and then sleek. Alright, so let's continue. So this is the last part. I only have one more thing left, so let's get it done, and then I'll see you guys completely finished. All right. All right, guys, so I am done straightening my hair. As you can see, it is very straight compared to my poofiness. It's, like, really to my head kind of flat. Um, I like it like this. I like it flat. I like, you know, um the way it's parted. This is exactly the way I do my hair. So, I'm gonna turn around and let you see the back. It's very long and I like it like this. I do cut my hair, um, but since I do have curly hair, usually you'll see up to here. I get my hair cut up to here in layers, but this is still how long it's going to be. Like this long. <laughs> so yeah, this is exactly how I do my hair, and this is the hair tutorial on how I straighten my hair. Um, I'm going to be doing one in a few days on how to curl with your flat iron. I do have um, this True Ceramic, True Ceramic Pro flat iron that I can curl with. Um, I also have the Con Air. Also, you can curl your, I, um, I have the Infinite Con Air, the U-Curl. And I curl my hair with this, I can curl my hair with this. And that's not the only thing I do have. I also recently got, um, you're gonna be seeing this in my haul, um, Christmas haul video, which I haven't put up yet. So that will be one of them that's coming out. I did get a one and a half inch curling iron from Hot Tools. Hot Tool Ceramic. So these are the three things I can curl hair with. Um, I curl a lot of my friends and my sister's hair all the time. Anytime someone comes over, I'm like, let me do your hair and your makeup. So these are the three things. Um, if you guys have specific ones you want me to use, like um, when I do this, this week coming up, you let me know in the comments and let me know which one exactly do you want me to show you how to curl with. Do you want me to show you with the flat iron, the U-Curl Infinity Con Air, or the Hot Tools one and a half inch? So let me know down in the comments below, um, and I none of these things were um, like from a company at all. This is mine and my sister's. This I got for my birthday, and this one I got for my birthday as well from two different people. All right, so again, this is my hair, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you like how I do my hair. Um, and if you want to learn how I got my bangs, how I cut my bangs, um, I actually do have a bangs video, but if you want me to get it updated, 
just let me know and I'll get that for you. All right, guys? So again, remember, leave down below a comment letting me know which one. Also, leave me a comment letting me know what you think of how I do my hair. And tell me if you guys like it. Please thumbs up it if you do like this video. Um, and just comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you're new, subscribe. It's right up there. All right, so um, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day, guys. Bye.